I just bought the lightest sleeping bag in the world. You see, I have a problem. I have a problem with my sleeping bag. Or at least I think so. It might be a drafty tent as well, or a combination of the two. But I believe the current sleeping bag that I'm using is too cold. So I ordered a new one. According to the producer, the lightest sleeping bag in the world when it comes to weight to warmth ratio. So that's what they say. I don't know if it's true, but I sure hope it is. Can this be the solution to my problems waking up early every morning being cold? Join me in unboxing this new package. Hi, as said, I have a problem. I'm apparently a cold sleeper because the outside temperatures have been okay. So I have two sleeping bags already. One down sleeping bag with a comfort rating of minus 6.6 degrees Celsius and one synthetic sleeping bag with a comfort rating of plus 5.5 degrees Celsius. In the package I have a sleeping bag that sits right in between the two sleeping bags I already own. I have ordered the Cumulus Equipment x Lite 400. The comfort rating of this sleeping bag is minus one degree Celsius. It also weighs less than both sleeping bags I already own. Maybe not surprising to the sleeping bag that has a comfort rating of minus 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius, but it's even lighter than the sleeping bag that has a plus 5.5 degrees Celsius comfort rating. It actually weighs 40% less and it's a down sleeping bag. So hopefully it packs down better and I have more space for other things to bring. So here it is. The sleeping bag. Better be careful. Let's see. Here it is. The lightest sleeping bag in the world by the Polish company Cumulus Equipment. The x Lite 400. Bring it out. Bag. See, it's been compressed now for at least a week. See if it lofts up a bit during the this session. I ordered it off the rack when there's also possibilities to have a bespoke sleeping bag with your specific preferences. But I was in a hurry, and from what I heard, this comes quite good off the rack. This is the regular version that is made for people up to 185 centimeters. It's 202 centimeters long, and at the top, it's 77 centimeters wide, and 42 centimeters at the bottom. It has 33 separate down chambers fill front and bottom. It comes in a bluish color, both the exterior and the interior parts, same kind of fabric, which is a seven denier ripstop nylon called Toure. It's supposedly the lightest downproof fabric in the world. It has 900 fill power with ethically sourced Polish goose down. It has a two thirds YKK three millimeter zipper. The sleeping bag is a mummy shaped sleeping bag. All these features to make the lightest sleeping bag in the world. Wow, it's already lofting up. Anyway, some facts that I've heard about this sleeping bag are the temperature rating is supposed to be quite accurate. The zippers are not perfect. They seem to easily get stuck in the fabric. If it's the lightest weight to warm ratio 
sleeping bag in the world? I don't know. But at least it's supposed to be very price worthy. Will this do the job? Well, we'll see in a few weeks. I will go up north in Sweden and really put this one to the test. I will come back with a review later because, yeah, I haven't used it yet. So this is not even maybe first impressions, but the very, very first impressions at least. Sleeping comfort is of course also very dependent on the sleeping pad that you have and the R value of the sleeping pad. I will make a video on R value and what is that really? But it is very important also when choosing your sleeping bag. The video will be coming up in a few weeks. Until then, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.